Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Thank you for joining me for another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. I just moved and to be honest, I had a hard time finding a place that I could record this video that was not filled with boxes. You know how that goes, I'm sure. Hey, if you have spare time, come on over, help me unpack, would you? <laughs> so today I'm gonna share with you a tip that has to do with uh, squaring off objects inside of AutoCAD and I find that a lot of us are working too hard that happening that'd be terrible so let me show you what I'm talking about so um, most of us would probably go into the fillet command and we would see whatever the radius was we'd make sure the radius was set to zero right and then we would select the objects that we want to square off like those two right there for example okay if you're doing it that way you are working way too hard all right let me show you what I'm talking about we're gonna go back into the fillet command and even though the fillet radius is set to zero, I'm going to select one of the objects that I want to square off. And then you'll see on there it says shift select to apply a corner. But hey, we don't actually look at the command line, do we? <laughs> if you have, you know this trick. If you don't, all you have to do is hold the shift key down, select the other object, and it will definitely apply a corner. And we also learned, right, that we could go, um, I'm sure you also know, you can go in the fillet command if you want to do a whole bunch of fillets at one time. You want to so maybe square off a bunch of corners at one time. Somebody was very sloppy when they do inside of AutoCAD. Uh, you can very simply type in M for multiple, then it keeps you in the fillet command, and then you can very simply select all the objects that you want to square off. For example, maybe I want to square these two off, you know, whatever the situation is, you want to square um, these two off whatever the situation is, okay? And then I also wanna point out, let me just get out of it for a second because I wanna show you that this guy here is a polyline. This guy here is a line. So what happens when you fill it, a polyline and a line together, who wins? Let's go back into the fill it command. We're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select one of the objects. I'm gonna hold the shift key down and select the other object. Who won? Please hold a polyline wins. <laughs> just so you know if you fill a line and a polyline together it will convert it into a polyline which I think is good so don't forget that handy little tip all you have to do is hold the shift key down and you can make corners like crazy you can be a crazy corner maker inside of AutoCAD which once again comes in handy when you're working with someone who doesn't quite understand that whole oh snap deal and uh, I hope to get some boxes unpacked and I hope to see you in two more weeks thank you so much for joining me